What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my network and we're going to talk about what I did to get the most out of my fast rural internet. And hopefully you can learn something or you can teach me something because I'm no networking expert and this is always a work in progress. So with that being said, let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. Please hit that like button if you like what you see, the dislike if you don't, and please leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I love to interact with people that's just as nerdy as me, so please leave a comment or a question. I'll try to answer any ones that I'm familiar with. If not, I'll try to point you in the right direction to get the answers from people more qualified than me. But let's get into today's video, my home network for fast rural internet. Now I've been trying to improve my home network ever since I had horrible options like DSL and HughesNet satellite internet, running Cat5e wires throughout my house, adding additional routers to act as access points in hopes of improving my network performance and reliability. But what I found was, whatever you get from your ISP, is what you get from your ISP. So after coming to that conclusion, I realized that I had to find a different way to get internet to my house. And that's when I started using LTE as an internet solution. For those of you that have followed my channel know that I went through the LB1120 by Netgear, the Netgear Nighthawk, and the MoFi 4500 before actually building my own router with its own custom modem. Now, since I started laying the groundwork for improving my home network when I had the horrible options, by the time I started using LTE, I never used these devices as my modem and my router. I only used them as a modem. I went from using a single router in a centrally located place in my home to using a router with plug-in Wi-Fi extenders to actually using an old router as an access point plugged into my original router to using a Wi-Fi mesh system. Now, a Wi-Fi mesh system is actually a very good solution, and if you have a larger area to cover, it may be the solution for you. Fast forward to today, where I use a load balancing router with a managed switch with power over ethernet access points to get the Wi-Fi coverage that I need throughout the home, as well as a wired network to reach the devices that I need that don't have Wi-Fi. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. Now for my router, I use the TP-Link TLR605 low balancing router. Now I did a video on this earlier comparing it with the Ubiquiti Edge Router X. You can check that video out right here. I have the router sitting on top of my switch and it has one WAN and one LAN port and three ports that are configurable between WAN and LAN. Connected to my router, I have an eight port managed tp link Omada switch. This is the front of my switch and the lights on top indicate the power over ethernet. The ones on the bottom indicate the port connections. The green ones are gigabit connections and the orange ones are 100 megabit connections. And on the back of my switch, you see all my ports are used up between my controller, my access points, my Mac mini, my network storage, my printer, and a couple of unmanaged switches in different locations feeding other wired devices. And I have several data jacks on the wall, the two on the top feed to my access points, the ones on the bottom feed to different locations in the house. And connected to the switch, I use the TP-Link OC200 hardware controller. This allows me to manage my network both inside and outside my home. Now here's my hardware controller that's powered over ethernet connected to port one of my switch. And this is the web interface of my controller that allows me to tie all the elements of my home network together. My router, my switch, my access points are all controlled through this web interface. This first screen is the dashboard where I can check the overall load and performance of my network. I have a bunch of widgets that shows how my network is performing. And I can also go down and check statistics like the speed performance or the switch performance. I can go down in topology and check out my network map. I even downloaded an actual map of my home that shows the location of the components of my home network. If I click on the devices, I can manage each device individually or as a group. I can configure, upgrade firmware, reboot, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna go too in depth in this video, but just suffice to say, it allows you a significant amount of control over your network. And I can also access this remotely through the Omada Cloud app. Now for my Wi-Fi, I use two 
TP-Link EAP245 access points. Now these are Wi-Fi 5 access points, business grade, so they're capable of connecting multiple devices. I haven't felt the need to upgrade the Wi-Fi 6 yet, who knows, within a year or so, maybe I will. But right now, these perform so well for me, I have no need to upgrade. So there it is. That's my setup for Fast Rural Internet. Please leave any comments, tips, or suggestions that you have about my setup down below in the comments, or let me know about your setup and how it works for you. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And once again, thanks for checking out another video. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'm here to help. You believe that, don't you? That I'm here to help you in any way I can? Thank you. You've been helpful.